Right, let's do question five. Question five says, people take, or 5.1 says, people take flights daily, um, either locally, nationally, or internationally. Table six below shows the average daily flights taken in the top 10 countries, the top 10 aircraft operators, basically airlines for 2022, and the percentage change from 2019. Some values have been omitted. Okay, so what you can see here, there's the countries, they're the airline operators, just airlines. 2022 values, right? And then the change from 2019. Now you can see that A and B are left out. So we know that we're probably gonna to have to calculate those. It's pretty stock standard, but let's just go into the questions and see what's asked for. Use table six above to answer the questions that follow. Write down the aircraft operator, so we're looking here, whose daily average, whose average daily flights increased the most. Okay, so let's look here. Most of them are negative, right? That little negative means that they've decreased. The only ones that are positive are Ryanair and Wizz Air Group. Wizz Air is greater than Ryanair. And so our answer there is Wizz Air Group. You don't have to write the percentage. You just write Wizz Air Group. You say they are the ones that increased the most since 2019. 5.1.2. France operated 4,290 average daily flights in 2019. Determine missing value A rounded to the nearest whole number. Now, we know that the number of flights has decreased because this was 2019 and that was 2022. So it's gone down. So we know that this A value is going to be negative. Okay. Now, one formula you need to know in MathLit, which students often forget, it's new minus old over old times 100. That tells you the percentage change. Now, the new value or the most recent value is this, right? 2022. The old value is 4290, 4290. Where did we get that from? From the question. We then plug that in, right? And that gives us our percentage change. So it's basically saying, how much did it change by as a percentage of what it was originally? Okay, that's what it's saying. So 3763 minus 4290 over 4290 times by 100. That's always important. And our decrease was negative 12,28. I always run it off to two decimal places, right? Because that's generally the case. Um, four, we always, when we run around to two decimal places, we look at the third decimal place. Four is below five, and so we round down. But read your question. Round it to the nearest whole number. So we have to then just call this negative 12%. So it's really important that you read your question because you could get to here and be like, mm, smashed it. And actually you didn't because you didn't read. Okay. Let's continue working. Calculate the range, right? The range. What does the range mean? It means the max minus the min for the percentage change for 2019 for the aircraft operators. So we're talking about the airlines okay so it means basically your biggest minus your smallest okay so our biggest was 13 we know that right so we're going to say 13 percent minus what's our smallest right so our smallest here is actually negative 35 right now you could be saying oh that's 35 but to me that's it's not 35 it's negative 35 it's 35 below the zero point so then you have to say 13 minus, minus 35%, right? Because you're subtracting, you're not subtracting off 35. If you didn't put this minus in, you'd just be subtracting off 35. No, no, no. You're subtracting off negative 35, right? You'll see that these later questions in the paper are a little bit trickier, and it's because they're really testing whether you understand how certain numbers work. Okay, so that's 48%. Right? And that is the range. So there's a 48% difference between the largest value and the smallest value. Let's keep going. We're doing well. Calculate missing value B. We knew it was coming. If the mean number of flights for aircraft operators for 2022 is 1028,2. Now, what does mean mean? <laughs> I'm sounding like a broken record there. It means the average. So it means when I added all of these up, and divided them by the number of airlines that there are. We know there's 10, because they told us up at the top. 
we can then get this number 1028,12. So I'm going to write that out in numbers. Okay, so 1, 0, I mean 1028,2 equals all of these values. 2566 6 plus 1347 plus 1249 plus, I'm just going to do like this until the one just before B, 667 plus B plus 547 plus 536. So basically all of them. How many are there in total? We know that there's 10. That's what the average is. So now we're going to have to use this somehow to find B. Well, let's just go simplify it, right? Let's just add all of these things up. So let's add this column. Every, add up everything except B. Obviously, we can't add B because we don't know what B is. So 2566 plus 1347, 1249 plus 1067 plus 952 plus 709 plus 667 plus 547 plus 536. Okay, gives me 9640. 1028, 2 gives me 9. 640, just what we got in our calculator there, plus B over 10. It's not too bad now. We just have to find B. Now, this is where basic algebra comes in. I'm sure you remember from your earlier maths that when we do equations, what we're trying to do is when we're trying to get this by itself, we have to get rid of everything else around it, right? And that often means we use what's called opposite operators. So we start, similar to bod mass, with getting rid of our divide first, right? So whatever, we can see that B is divided by 10. Let's get rid of 10. How do we get rid of 10 if it's divided on the side? We times both sides by 10. So then we get this here. Because those cancel. And we get 10282. Two. Put that in calculator if you don't believe me. Now, this is here, it's added to B. We don't want it added to B, we want B by itself. So if it's added to B on the side, we're going to subtract it from B on the side. I mean, subtract it from um, that value on the side. Okay, so we subtracted it basically from both sides. I'm just going to show you there. That's what we've done. What you do to the one side, you have to do to the other side. Otherwise, they're not equal, right? So we're going to then say 10282 minus 9640. And B equals 642. Now, this sort of question is the question that students often struggle with because they don't remember doing algebra. They can't remember how to do it. But please just follow the steps here. I went from saying, what is an average? Then I just simplified it. And then I said, I want to get B by itself. But B is divided by 10. Get rid of it. B, this is added to B. I don't want it added to B. I want B by itself. And then I got that. So you have to work quite slowly and methodically. Let's continue to our last question of this video. Determine the probability as a decimal, important, they told us how they wanted it, of randomly selecting an aircraft operator whose average daily flights increased from 2019 to 2022. Okay, well, we know there's 10 of them, okay, but the only ones that increased were Ryanair and Wizz Air. So we say, okay, well, there's 10, possible, right? Remember, that's how probability works. Saying what's possible at the bottom. At the top is what do we want? Well, we want either Ryanair or Wizz Air, and there's only two ways we can get that. We need it as a decimal. If you can't do this in your head, please don't stress. You do this, that's a little decimal, and it is 0, 0,2, and you are done, right? Very important. Let's now move on to the last question of this paper.